Let me ask you this. Uh, obviously, our American, uh, the, the American president, Donald Trump, our president here, uh, does not believe the WHO has acted on the up and up, in particular when it comes to interpreting data or dealing with China. Uh, address, that, uh, address that critique. Thanks very much. The World Health Organization actually works on behalf of all the governments in the world, and it operates within mandates that are given to it. And, and we have to rely on information that's received from different governments. And that then permits us to work out what's going on. Uh, we believe that we've had the best information coming to us that, that can come under the current circumstances and that all uh, recommendations and decisions have been made on behalf of that. But we know that there will be many things that are, are found to have perhaps not been done as well as they could have been done. And we're anticipating there'll be lots of examinations afterwards. Right yeah. now, we have to move forward. We have to get the best possible cooperation. I just heard you discussing with the head of the FDA some of the challenges, that things yes. that we're learning about this virus all the time. That's why we need a strong WHO, a trusted WHO. And we hope all leaders will continue to work so with us in that way. You, you used an interesting phrase here. Uh, the best information you can get under current circumstances, that seems to be a hint that certain governments are more transparent than other governments. Do you believe China's been honest about the damage this virus did in their country, um, number one? And number two, if they haven't been honest about that, are you confident they've been honest about the science? So first, we really do have to work with the information we get. We don't have in the World Health Organization the power to go and inspect beyond what countries tell us. That's been made clear in the treaty that governments agreed in 2005 on how nations work together and how the WHO operates. But I say this, that they did invite a team pulled together by the World Health Organization to come and inspect everything in mid-February. There were no restrictions on what that team investigated. It included American experts as well as experts from others in the world. So we are trying to be, be clear to everybody that we have been given access to the information we requested. And so therefore, I don't like in any, at any time to say we don't believe. We believe what we've got. We work with what we've got. That's how we operate in the World Health Organization. Uh, President Trump has talked about withholding funding to the WHO. I believe the United States is anywhere approximately 15 to 20 percent of your annual budget. Uh, how right. devastating would it be if the United States pulled, pulled its funding? Well, do you know, we're right in the middle of this massive, epic struggle. Every single human being in the world is affected by it. Businesses are really in trouble. Communities are in distress. I really do hope that all nations will not find any reason to make threats or other such things that will undermine our capacity to bring together all the best knowledge that we can find. And of course, we, we love our partnership with the United States. We've worked with United States scientists for years. I personally have huge respect for what you bring and what you offer. And that would be so unfortunate if anything happened to lessen that cooperation. I know that Ted Ross, the director general, has had direct discussions with the president of the US. And he really does trust when trust him when he hears from the president that respect for the WHO and we hope that will go on. We, it's too too important to have anything that disturbs the functioning of the international system at this time. Okay.